Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I wanted to start a new series. I know I did that with the coffee break videos, and I'm still planning on doing them, but I wanted to start a different kind of a series, a more inspirational series, a motivational series, if you will. And I wanted to call it Motivational Mondays, if you couldn't tell by the title. So, like I said, the reason why I wanted to start this is because I, you know, sometimes I myself even find it hard to get motivated about certain things or get inspired, you know, and I feel like hitting you guys with a little bit of knowledge about different topics will help you to get motivated about whatever the topic may be. So in today's topic, I wanted to talk to you guys about addiction. And I'm not talking just about like the hardcore addictions. Like I'm talking about like even the minor addictions like video games or Instagram. <laughs> um, like these kinds of addictions. Uh, so first, let me get into my story. So I was addicted to cigarettes. Like, looking back on it now, I am so ashamed of myself. I cannot believe that I smoked cigarettes for so many years. I smoked cigarettes since I was 18, and I stopped smoking cigarettes when I was 25. I'm 26 right now, and I stopped when I was 25. Um, I'm, I'm just so ashamed of myself. I can't believe that I let myself smoke cigarettes for so many years and look like looking back on it now I'm just like I can't believe that I ever smoked like I can't believe that I ever picked up a cigarette but that addiction was so embedded in my life like I didn't want to do certain things because I knew that it would interfere with my smoking addiction like I didn't want to hang out with certain people because they didn't smoke cigarettes or I didn't want to go places because I knew I'd be without a cigarette for a certain amount of time and like things that can seem so minor to you or to other people can be so big like even uh, an Instagram addiction or a coffee addiction or a video game addiction like you might not see it but these addictions can take over your life it is really not good to have any sort of addiction in your life like quitting an addiction whether big or small has a lot to do with your mind and it's so hard to just be like I don't want this I don't want it whenever I quit smoking cigarettes I would like I would constantly tell myself those are disgusting you don't need those you do not want those they're disgusting and I made myself think like they're disgusting and now if I see somebody smoking a cigarette if I see like a cigarette butt on the floor I'm like that is so gross and I did that for so many years but while I was quitting I was kept telling myself that's disgusting and so now my mindset against cigarettes or anything like that is just like oh my god that's so gross um, so I definitely think it's all in your mind like it's all the way that your mind like if you are just constantly like telling your mind like but I need this I can't go without it I can't live without it then you're not gonna it's gonna be hard for you to live without it and it's gonna be something that you know you're gonna have to struggle to get over um, but if you tell yourself I don't need this I don't want this in my life this is ruining my life this is hurting me and I don't want it then it'll be so much easier for you to rid yourself of that whatever it may be honestly just to me addictions are just horrible things and no matter what it is I feel like too much of anything is bad for you even too much of water can kill you and maybe not all addictions are bad but here are a couple of things that you should take notice to if it is physically or emotionally harming you or somebody or the people around you, then it's not a good addiction. If you are spending all of your time doing this, it's not a good addiction. If you are like anxious to do certain things or to be around certain people because of this, it's not a good addiction. Ever since I quit smoking, it feels so good to know that I am in control of my life, that I can say nothing owns me, nothing controls me except for me. And honestly, like I've never been happier to be able to say those words, you know, like I've never been so, you know, just 
free and relieved and you know cigarettes I think are just like and I know like a lot of people are addicted to cigarettes and I feel like ever since I quit smoking cigarettes I've noticed that more people like like so many people smoke them I think whenever I was smoking I wasn't really like aware but now that I quit I'm like oh my god everybody smokes cigarettes you guys I don't I'm sorry and like I know like everybody has told you this like your mom's told you this your sister your aunt your grandma everybody has told you this but cigarettes will kill you I oh my gosh I have gained so much energy since I quit smoking. I can breathe without coughing. My teeth are whiter. I'm a happier. I'm a happier person. I can get out and about more. I can go to the movies without sitting there and oh my god, I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette like every 5 seconds. Quit while you can. Seriously, your life is precious and it's the most important thing. And I know you're just like, you're saying, oh, well, you know, we're going to die anyway. Well, you don't, at least you don't want something to kill you. You don't want to pay. Like, to me, now that I quit smoking, now that I can, like, see, when you smoke cigarettes, you are paying money to kill yourself. And you're going out to this hit man and saying, and paying him so much amount of money, however much you spend on cigarettes for like your whole lifespan, however much you are spending on cigarettes your whole life, which is probably a lot of money, which is a lot of money, you're going out to this man and you're paying him that much money and you're saying, kill me slowly, make me suffer, make sure I don't have any energy, make sure I'm not happy, make sure I have plenty of anxiety, you don't want to do it like I'm seriously I'm serious I'm serious I'm serious quit while you can please like do me a favor do everybody around you a favor do your children a favor because they don't want to sit in a room with you with that is filled with smoke they don't want to sit in a car with you that's filled with smoke do your sisters your your brothers a favor do your mom your dad your grandma a favor they don't they you think they want to be around that you think they want to be subjected to cigarette smoke every five seconds okay and maybe they smoke you know maybe they they smoke too maybe that's how you got started smoking is because your family smokes you don't want to be like them don't you want to be different don't you want to be better cigarette smoking can like kill it can kill you it can kill everybody around you and kill your children it can kill your mom your dad it can kill it like i'm sorry and that's brutal but it's the truth somebody i knew had a mom and a dad right <laughs> just like everybody does um the the dad smoked cigarettes the mom didn't the mom died first because of secondhand smoke like the mom died first she didn't even smoke cigarettes she died of emphysema but she didn't even smoke her husband smoked and her husband was the one that killed her like and I, like i'm sorry and this is harsh and this is brutal but i'm serious like seriously please don't click away from this video please stop smoking cigarettes like i can't say it enough like have the power to control your life have the power to breathe and run and play and jump around and run around on the beach and swim without going out of breath so easily like i just can't say it enough i'm sorry you guys and i know this video has been so long but i just can't i can't stop like i'm just like i'm so like passionate about getting this message across to you guys that like cigarettes are just no bueno and neither is addiction addiction is so harmful especially if it's like a hardcore addiction like some sort of drugs or alcohol or, and even cigarettes is harmful to the people around you and to yourself so you know your mind can do it if i don't know if you have a religion but pray you know you can do it believe in yourself i think that's the most important thing is to believe 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 in yourself and no, I can do this. I have the power to do this. Nothing on this earth controls me but me. You know what I'm saying? And believe that you can do it. If you set your mind to it, you can do it. You have the power. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got something out of it. 
Um, let me know if this video has motivated or inspired you. Leave me, uh, leave, leave a comment down below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Stay beautiful. Mwah. Bye.